Well, the House is moving forward with an impeachment inquiry against President Biden. But so far, no evidence of a crime has been presented, and the executive office is calling it a political stunt. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, the White House calls this a waste of time, but Republicans disagree, saying it'll give them the resources to uncover the truth. Fallout Thursday after the House approved a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden, which centers on allegations he benefited from his son Hunter's business dealings. The resolution is adopted. It passed along party lines with all Republicans voting in favor. In his statement, South Florida Representative Mario diaz Ballard said the American people are finally learning the truth about the scandal-plagued Biden family. Congresswoman Federico Wilson pushed back, saying this is nothing but a political ploy orchestrated to hurt the president's image in the lead up to an election year. They've decided from the moment that he took office that they were going to impeach him. As the commander in chief calls on GOP lawmakers to turn their focus from impeachment to passing legislation aid for Israel and Ukraine. What happened to the funding to Ukraine? Biden has pushed Congress to approve his $110 billion bill, which includes $61 billion for Ukraine and more than $14 billion for Israel to bolster its air and missile defense. It's good to see you again. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on the ground in Tel Aviv. It's there he met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. His message was consistent. The United States will continue to support Israel in its fight against Hamas. Hamas is still holding up to eight Americans hostage, as the Biden administration made clear they're working hour by hour to free them. If you need proof that we still want to see a pause, just look at where the National Security Advisor is today. I mean, we are engaging at all levels. Now, lawmakers are set to go on break tomorrow, but Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate will return next week, no matter what, to vote on wartime funding for Israel and Ukraine. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.